Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here from Comic Book Users. Welcome to another edition of the show. I sit here alongside my co-host extraordinaire as always. Hello comic book fans, I'm Wild Bill and on Comic. Welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Users. We're going to do another villain spotlight. Going to go up to DC World here. Yes, right? we're going to focus on... Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang. I'll just cover up the trickster here. Yes. We Censor. Don't, we don't care about him today. Uh, I only pulled this out because this is a recent acquisition of mine. And I have a bunch of Flash, like close to 100 books. And I have a lot between issues 200 and 300. Missing maybe like 30 issues. I got quite the gap between 200 and 30. Somewhere in the 220s. So anyway... So what do I do? I go through all my Flash comic books, and this is the first one I have of Captain Boomerang. <laughs> I think my oldest is like in the one sixties. I've old. So he, but he's like an old. old <clears throat> he first appeared like, in issue one seventeen. Okay, yeah. And uh, I had some notes here on my phone, so I wouldn't forget, and I'm forgetting already. His name is George Harkness. His his nickname is Digger. Digger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, issue number 117, 1960. So and it's created so. by uh, John Brune and Carmine Infantino. Yep. The yep. guy that didn't like Nova. He yep. worked for both DCM, Marvel, Carmine. Yep. yep. But he first appeared in Flash 117, but this is issue 209. So that's like 1960 when he first appeared. And this is what, 73, 74? Yeah, because the Flash didn't... His first issue is not number one. I think the first Flash is like number 89 or in the 80s or something like that. So a pretty early villain of the Flash. He's been around. Yeah, but look at him. Yeah. He's, he's dressed like uh, he just came out of uh, medieval times. Yeah. You know, he just... He, what's that shit on the weekend for two weeks a year? The Renaissance? Yes, thank you. He just came out of the Renaissance Festival. Both of them. He's got these little the trickster rings all over his out, blue outfit. So... Blue outfit. I wanted to show you. He was also a member of the Suicide Squad, but that's more in the 90s. Yeah. This book that I'm showing you is like from 1971, right? Somewhere down there. 71, yep, you got uh -huh. it. So, obviously, in this particular book, it's Captain Boomerang and the Trickster teaming up <clears throat> for the death of Flash. That's what this story is about. But, of course, we know Flash comes back to life. This, is, right. this is a story of... Time warping and going to different dimensions. But Captain Boomerang, what's so powerful about him? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Because this, this particular story, like I said, is DC was always big on time dimension mm -hmm. and, and, and Traveling in time and dimensions, or going to different worlds, and always traveling time. Going through the speed force, right? To and like, all the time. Yeah. Like, they never stay, like, in one realm for too long. It's like, you're either on Earth, or Earth 2, they got an Earth 2. Is that Grodd down there, too? Is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, they don't look too happy to see him, do no, they? they don't. <laughs> but, you get the idea. <clears throat> Captain Boomerang... Is Captain Corny, as far as I'm concerned. But classic rogue villain for the Flash. You know, with his boomerang powers. Uh, looks like the turn of events here. Trickster turning on the boomerang and going on each other. <laughs> Here's Captain Boomerang over here. So. Yeah, he appeared all the and again you brought you said it good before. Like, what kind of powers does he have? It's like he, all right, so he's amazing with boomerangs, but he appeared all the time. So obviously, he I don't know if he's like Hawkeye with different boomerangs doing different dangerous effects. Nah. But this this particular book has like three different stories in it. So this 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 one ends rather soon. See, now we're already in, into Kid Flash. I know you didn't sign up for that, <laughs> but so Captain Boomerang, I thought was a very obscure. This was later on in my collecting years, in my high school days. I bought this one off the rack. This was one of the, towards the end of my collection, of my Flash collection. I think my last was like two ninety seven. It's two seventy eight. This is two seventy eight. Very cool cover though. Yeah, that I, is I think good. this is like one of the best Flash covers from the this era. Era, I yeah, should say. The, well, the yellow works really good with the reds, and it's just all really 
it just pops really well. Plus, it's cool. I mean, here, you know, you can see, obviously, the Flash is being kind of trapped in this, like, almost like magnetic Boomerang. storm of boomerangs, right? So It's Road to Oblivion. Alex Savick, artist. Your artist. And I don't, know, I don't know either one of them. F. Charmante. Charmante. Okay. So, we've got a nice splash page to start off with. Flash running. Star Trek the movie. That's right. The first one. This is like 1978, this book? 79? Uh, 79. 1979. So here you got Captain Boomerang sitting down like in his throne. And it's all shaped like boomerangs. Notice the arms. Yeah. The chairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, but his costume is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> so a renaissance festival oh uh, yeah and then he's got like the GI hat it's just like it's just crazy it looks so like here's some of his power like these boomerangs are coming after the flash and they're encircling the flash yeah. but not enough to hold the flash back no but I figured it we haven't we haven't done any DC villains yet, so I figured not in a while anyway. Yeah, so I figured why not do somebody else. that's kind of obscure. I figured Captain Boomerang. No, the problem is all well, the really cool villains are like the Batman ones, and we've done a bunch of those in the past. But it's yeah, we got to start going to Flash and Green Lantern and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But there's so many unanswered questions about this guy because this leads up to the villain that killed Barry Allen's wife. Uh, this is the guy that killed his wife. This guy. So this ties in with the death of uh, Isis. Here, Iris. Iris. There you go. He looks uh, like holy, holy, like cousin to Modoc. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's an ugly looking dude. Yeah. The killer. So, Captain Boomerang, ladies and gentlemen, I figured is an obscure villain. Why not put him in villain spotlight? Yeah. Actually, since he's been around so long, he's really not that obscure. But that's just, but yeah, very obscure. He's only in two. I got almost a hundred issues of Flash. He's uh, only so obscure in two. In, it's obscure in your collection. I got obscure, it. Okay. obscure <laughs> in the real Flash world, right? <laughs> yes, he's a famous villain. But if he's so famous, how come he's only in two issues? <laughs> uh, I have to get back to you. Anyway, that's Captain Boomerang, George Digger Harkness. Yeah, Digger. Just call him Digger. Digger. Now, what does digging have to do with throwing boomerangs? How about Chucky? I couldn't. Tell. Digger. How about throw? How about swinger? Slasher? How about boom? Boomerang? <laughs> Hook? You know? Digger. I don't get it, man. I don't know. I, I, I didn't make it up. Or lefty, you know? Lefty would be good. Yeah. Toss. Yeah, sure. Zippy. Yeah, throw. <laughs> you know, toss, you know? I don't know. Chuck. Anyway, Captain Boomerang. There you go. There's another that, villain spotlight. More DC stuff to come, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, as always, you know what to do. Click the like button, send us some comments, click the subscription button. Notification bell to be kept in the loop every time we got a new video. Tell your friends, uh, and thank you for the word of mouth, and thank you for your comments. And as always, we'll see you next time. Gonna finish up some story arcs with the Avengers uh, inside the cover. Avengers 31 coming back. That's right. Next, Next episode. So stay tuned for that and lots more. I am Pete for Wild Bill. See you all real soon. Bye Take bye. care. Bye.